This is the image Indonesian presidential frontrunner Prabowo Subianto portrays to the public. The 72-year-old's dance steps on the campaign trail have helped endear the former army general to many of Indonesia's young voters. Presenting himself as a chubby uh, old grandpa, and uh, this attracts uh, many supports from uh, Indonesian people. Approximately half of Indonesia's eligible voters are younger than 40, and about one-third are younger than 30. Thousands streamed into one of Prabowo's recent campaign events geared towards young voters. I purely want to support Prabowo because I know he's on a mission. Prabowo tells the young crowd, this world belongs to you, belongs to the youth. But while he campaigns to be Indonesia's future leader, this group of demonstrators near the presidential palace is trying to derail him by raising awareness about his past. They're saying, long live the victims, never be silent. In 1998, Prabowo was dismissed from the army for allegedly ordering the kidnappings of pro-democracy activists. More than a dozen of them are still missing. He's also accused of human rights abuses against hundreds of civilians in East Timor. Prabowo denies all accusations of wrongdoing. A human rights violator is able to run for president. Petrus Harianto was friends with pro-democracy activist Ouija Tukul, who disappeared during the wave of political kidnappings in 1998 and has not been seen since. I believe that it's not proper that an activist abductor and a major human rights violator can run for president. I'm really scared that Prabowo uh, is going to be elected. University student Stephanie Iskandar says many young Indonesians know little about the country's dark past and have been heavily influenced by the Prabowo campaign social media. They become very uh, vulnerable with all of this uh, political communication with the young way and with the TikTok. Putri Ayu Ramadianti, also a university student, says she's gotten much of her information on Prabowo from social media. She downplays any Prabowo link to human rights violations. We don't know who the real perpetrator is, yet Prabowo was accused. Political analyst Phillips Vermonte says many issues from Indonesia's past carry little weight with the younger generations. Uh, in 1998, they were in kindergarten or in the elementary schools, so they do not really have or share the collective memories of the authoritarian government. As election day nears, activists fear Perboa's clever makeover will prove more powerful than his past. Dave Grunebaum, VOA News, Jakarta, Indonesia.